Can you talk about the the uh, impact that the COVID has had this year in terms of people isolating or staying home or staying away from each other? Are these positive things? Or? Of course they're positive. Whatever you can use is positive. So, I passed through the COVID early, first wave. It was devastating. It was horrifying. It was shocking to my old system. It really beat up on my old carcass here. But it had a flip side to it. It beat up on the physical and activated the inner, the creative. And so the idea is when you're down and out, you have to know how to use that. It's time to catch up, time to make up for you know, when you're up and about and running around doing other things. So it's part of the balance. You have to see that nature has an intelligence that sometimes transcends our attention, exceeds our expectations. And so we need to cooperate with that which we want to do and then what we are allowed to do under its conditions, not our own always. Our conditions are very limited, because eventually this body, which is not your own, it's got to be turned in, right? given back to Mother Earth. So enjoy it while you have it, because you may not have it for much longer in some cases. You may have it for much longer, and that could be your problem. Some people don't want to be here that long, because they don't know what to do with themselves. Other people say, no, just now that I'm down and out, I feel great. See, so age is maybe the beginning for some. And disease is a blessing for some, depending on who it is and what they do with it. Does an event like this help us, let's say, reimagine the home in a new light as a sanctuary? Reimagine, survive, forget about reimagine. That sounds like uh, an extravagance. Reimagine and deal with the issues on the ground, right? Become real. See how real it is for other people and how quick other people are passing over and being yanked out of this this, uh, what is it called, theater of operations, see? and that could be anybody. It's not it. They're not experiencing what they want to do. <laughs> so somebody else, something else is doing what's going on, and which we should be suspicious of. Who? If those people don't want to pass and they're being knocked out by, let's say, call it the virus, call it the virus of time, the urgency of now, call it whatever you want. And you're gone. We're gone when the time comes. Keep that in mind, my friends. When the time comes, you're going, whether it's by this, by that, or whatever. It's your time. It's up. And as the Bible says, for everything and everyone, there's a time. A time to begin, a time to end. A time to pass on, a time to rise up, a time to pass on. And go higher. That's the purpose. Okay. Your question now? So, uh, is this a, a, let's say, a karmic event for the, the world in terms of... It's a karmic event for everybody. We are the world. This is the world. Knowing that other people are going and being taken out like this swiftly is our, is our problem. We're sharing it because we may be called. What we see is maybe what is going to happen to us. We don't know. So you, what, what you do in the meantime is make your time count because you never know. There are some of them who get sick, leave like that, right? The next day they're gone. See? When I had it, I was out for days, right? Incapacitated for days. And, and in a wretched condition I had never imagined. I couldn't even imagine as bad a condition as I felt at that time. Is that crazy? Insane. Dying. It's like dying. See? So the idea is while you're healthy, let's say, make good on it. Be grateful. Be happy. There is such a thing as a contact and, uh, what is the word, uh, grace drawing by, by way of gratitude. Mm -hmm.